Going to a resort today to uh, give a, a goodbye dinner to my niece, May May. She's going to go back to college in Davao, well, in Mindanao. So we got the jeepney. We got it almost full, taking about 15, 16 people to Sea Garden Resort in Leganese. It's uh, probably 30 minutes from Iloilo City. So we're about ready to go. You ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Can you say hi, Ben Ben? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Nobody else is saying hello. That's okay. <laughs> Typical, typical Philippines. I was warned a half an hour ago that the jeepney was ready and it's time to go. So I've been sitting in here for 15 minutes waiting on everybody else. That's fly for the Philippines. Selfie. <laughs> And we're still waiting. And we're finally moving. Uh oh, water. They've got all these side rooms for people to rent out. And I can't remember, I think it is around 40 bucks to rent out one or two. They call them cabanas, I guess. They like fancy words here. We rented a couple of cabanas today. Makes us sound rich and exotic. I'm pretty exotic though, I gotta admit. Actually a chilly day here in the Philippines. The jeepney ride over here was a little bit cool. Can't wait to see the kids. He can rent these too. They're nice. Not much 
protection for mosquitoes, though. They're not too bad. Probably get a couple of bites today. Kids' pool. Pretty cool. And they got the cafe. You can go in there and eat. Just want to check it out. Oh wow, they got a pool table. I just learned last night that uh, Filipinos are big on pool, playing pool, billiards. I didn't know that. I saw it on Joe Rogan podcast. He was bragging on how good the Filipinos are at pool. See, these are, these are rented. Cabana, Cabana, all the different names. So they do a good business here. And we're on down the road here. They've got space back here. They've got catfish there. Morning. Morning. The place is back here. Got a big hall and a stage here in case they have a live entertainment. And then the restrooms are back here. So it's a nice place. It's not too expensive. You know, if you're a Westerner, you come here and, you know, not like, not like. For 150 bucks, you could have a whole family here and eat swim all day this is my favorite the seaside bar you can get anything you want in there so they got a they call it infinity pool out here there's the other side of the cabanas and then they have these this is where we were at last time there's Irish and Marvin and Van Van. And we got two cabanas down here. And they got this. Oh, wow, they didn't have this done last time. They were building it earlier in the year. So they got it built. I guess you can get all the way up on top. I don't know. I wouldn't want to run up and down the steps. That's just me. Then we got these two. Nice. View of the ocean. And I got these, all these cups. Little tiny napkins. And then plates wrapped in I call it cellophane plastic wrap. The only thing that I still think is funny is they they still require a mask for entry. But then once you get in here, you can do what you want, you know. I guess if you're wandering around out close to the entrance, they'll probably make you wear one. Okay, so what's the deal on the on the cabana? Okay, we rented two cabanas, right? Right. So it's fifteen hundred, well, one five. Yeah, fifteen hundred pesos. Peso per cabana. Oh, per cabana. So we're paying three thousand. Right. Okay. So we put the down payment yesterday. Huh? Yeah, fifteen hundred yesterday, fifteen hundred yeah. today. Yeah. So that's including the food for that one. Including the food. So now we have three thousand worth of food. That so that's food. that's sixty dollars U.S. basically for these two cabanas. It's two big tables, and it's not all you can eat, but it's a lot of food, a lot of rice, Eva. Well, you could pick from the menu. Yeah, they give us menus. Yeah. They're looking at menus right now. Plus, you can. You can order outside the menu too, anything you want. 
They have pretty decent food here. That's why I came back. So we just spent basically a thousand on swim, on armbands for swimming. So how many? All these, more than six. Yeah, three uh, Marvin, Ben, and Irish. They're like at the age of below eight. They're 150 a piece. Yeah. So how many in total? Six kids. Oh, you didn't get armbands for all of them? No, yeah, for all of them. Just six kids. So I ordered a little breakfast. I'll show you what me and Flora both got for breakfast. I got tapas, which is beef, egg, some sort of uh, vegetable medley there, and then rice. Just, like it's tomato, actually tomato. Uh, actually supposed to be garlic fried rice. Yeah, a little bit of garlic in there. Yeah, it's got a little tomato, and then my sasawan, which has got chilies and onions and garlic, probably some toyo, some soy sauce. And then Flora's got, what is that, a chata? Mm. It's sliced papaya, pickled papaya, it's kind of sweet. And then delice, which is anchovies, diba? Mm -hmm. Eggs, garlic fried rice, okay, hold on. So I got a little bit of the delice. Head and all. Oh yeah. It's sweet. It's sweet and a little bit spicy too. Yeah. You like that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll try this. We get a little bit of the sasawan. You can see the chilies in there. I'm just gonna put that. I'm gonna put that on my rice. Cause that'll be pretty hot there. Give me a little bit of egg. And my niece screaming in the background. Turn it off. Yeah, the beef is actually like similar to adobo flavor a little bit. Not really full adobo flavor, but the chilies are not not really hot. It's okay. That's a good flavor. So it's good. That's that's topsy log. That's a very popular Filipino breakfast. Especially especially in Luzon. That's it. So this is what goes into the coffee. You get a little package of black coffee, sugar, like, it's like a brown sugar, and then coffee made. That's your typical Filipino coffee. So I'm gonna try it. Try it, I've had it many times. So yeah. It's it's uh, like coffee with cream and sugar, basically instant coffee with cream and sugar. Is it my favorite coffee in the world? No, but it'll do. It'll do in the morning, so yeah. So the family's all, the kids especially, they're all out in the pool. And uh, the place is full. That whole section's full. The whole other section's full. We got here about nine or 10, probably nine. And there was hardly anybody here. But this place sits right on the ocean. It's actually a nice little, uh, bench out here pretty cool I think it's pretty shallow out there 
uh, I saw a guy walking in the water. It wasn't our Lord either. He was walking in the water, not on the water. So, but yeah, it's pretty cool, man. They got a nice walkway. This is the back of the place I showed you earlier. It's like the event center where they have a stage and have live entertainment or award ceremonies. Look at them rocks. That is cool. Yeah, there's the entertainment venue. Looks like they have one. Got a big buffet right there. There's the stage. You can see it. Yeah, it's cool out here. Uh, speaking of cool, I'd say the temperature's about 74, 75. Cloud cover. It's not raining. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful weather here. It's, uh, I mean, I haven't sweated today. That's, that's, and that's, that's really saying something. I haven't sweated today. So, yeah, it's just beautiful here. Uh, walking by the seaside. This is in a place called Leganes in, in uh, the island of Panay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a mushroom. It's not. It's a coconut, of course. Oh, so it's just a nice uh, I walk up some steps here. Starting to think about this day a little bit. Um, yeah, we're having this dinner. Um, my niece is going back to college. I guess she's about 20. I've known her since she was about four. <laughs> so, uh, May May is her name. And uh, she's, she's part of the family. I mean, I'm gonna miss her. Really hard for me to talk about it, to be honest. Um, she's just always, you know, kids here are different for the most part. Uh, they're very respectful. I mean, I'm her uncle. I'm 61 years old, but she treats me with, and the whole family does, but she really treats me with respect and and I do her as well. We help a little bit, but she she helps herself too, you know. So that's the thing. I mean, she's she's such a good kid, and she's smart. She's going to school for business in uh, Mindanao. I think it's like a two-year college. We'll see after that. Thinking about starting a business, maybe. Um, but she's smart. She could handle that. Her mom's her mom's smart like that. She never got the chance to have like education like May May does. But she's very talented, hard worker. Six days a week, 10, 12 hours a day. But that's you know that's what a lot of expats don't talk about too much that are on YouTube is the uh, family aspect of it. You know, I raised my family in the U.S. and. You know, I had a first wife and, you know, that ended in uh, like 1999, something like that, a 14 year marriage. And my daughters are all grown and it's just me and Flora by ourselves. Uh, we don't have any children together, but you know, being here in the Philippines, it's, it's just all about family. I mean, it's close. It's, we're a close knit family and she's, May May's going back I think Tuesday, a couple next couple of days. She'll definitely be missed. She just, uh, she's just like a ray of sunshine every time she walks in the room. So anyway, I may include a little clip if she'll give me the okay. I, I did a little video, just a short one on her arriving back. She arrived back here in the Philip in. Uh, in Iloilo City back on the, I think the, I don't know, somewhere around 16th, 18th of December, doesn't really matter, but it's, an, it's a pretty cool video that I made. I may stick that in here if she'll let me, but that's what we're doing here today.
I'm going to keep recording what we're doing and how much it costs and all that stuff, but just a little personal side, to be honest. Okay, so the food got here. Um, part of our part of our 3,000 pesos. Pinakbit. Yeah. Okay. What's in Pinakbit? There's okra, ampalaya, sita, palabasa. And bad boy? Yeah. Okay. So pork? Oh, there's also shrimp. Huh? Shrimp. Ah. What's that? Bad boy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So we've got pork sinigang. You take and you put the broth or sabao over your rice. Put a little pork with it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> And then? Oh. It flavors your rice. So, this is the. It's sinigang. That's sinigang. Ishda or fish. And of course, pinak bet. So, our food arrived. Everybody's happy. Everybody's eating. All 15 or 16 of us. So what's that one? Chop soy, yeah. Chop soy. Chop, chop soy. Inulang manok. And that one? Inulang manok. Like nilaga? Inulang manok. Oh, okay. And that one? Thank <laughs> you. 